Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Marsha, founder and owner of I Am Skin Beauty. If you have not got a chance, check out our website. We have things for a spa day in the comfort of your own home. So guys, I'm gonna make this really short because I am on my way out and I am running late. <laughs> But um, I just want to do a little quick update, um, makeup update. I did try a new foundation um, this week because I'm coming up on my birthday. Like I told you guys previously, if you saw all my other videos, please watch if you haven't. I am um, relearning makeup and I'm trying to find the best makeup for my acne prone skin. So I wanted to try something else. So this week I went ahead and I tried um, Makeup Forever, the reboot. And the color I got was the R530. Um, I want to say this makeup is definitely hydrated. Um, so I have oily prone acne skin, um, which is fine because I, um, like I said um, previously on my other videos, I want to stay more hydrated than um, matte because um you know the acne medication i use tend to dry out your skin so i did like the fact that this is more hydrated um this one has it's supposed to brighten up your skin smooth firm hydrate and even out your skin complexion um i think it's definitely doing what it said it's doing i i'm i don't know like i'm like not a hundred percent sure if i like it um i'm gonna go out i'm gonna step out for a couple of hours i'm gonna try to come back it's probably gonna, i'm gonna try to come back and and see give you guys the look after i the only thing i didn't do was a setting spray i usually don't do setting sprays but um i had a setting spray and i didn't like it because it was matte and i wanted a hydrate setting spray i didn't get a chance to get that i totally forgot about that but um yeah so i really like the fact that um it says that it's bright and smooth and firm, hydrating, even toned skin complexion. Um, I, of course, did put concealer. I do have LA Girl on. I went with the full coverage tonight because, again, I'm stepping out. Um, last week, I, I used um, Rihanna Brightening Eye Cream. This week, I'm using the LA Girl Pro. And the color that I'm using, I used two different colors. This is Truffle. And then I use, um, let's see, chestnut. So chestnut is the lightest one. Actually, no, truffle is the lightest one and chestnut is the darkest one. So I went ahead and used um, darkest to lightest and then put the lightest underneath my eyebrows. Um, I don't know, every time I get on camera, my, my nose wanna run. I don't know what's going on, but um, but yeah, we'll see. I'm gonna come back home and do an update. Like I said, I don't know yet with this foundation. I love the fact that it, it does everything it says it, it that it does, but I'm not sure. Um, but it's supposed to be a light, full coverage, but um, you know, really light on the skin, which I like. I'm all for letting my skin breathe because like I said previously, acne hits different. I mean, I'm sorry, not acne. Makeup hits different when you're acne free and your girl is acne free, okay? Like I had a, a few breakout last week. I was able to clear that up. But um, so if this makeup does not clog my pores by the, end, by the time I get home, it's a winner. But I still like my BB cream, so this might be the makeup that I use when I want to step out at night for full coverage. I don't know. We'll see. But it's definitely giving me a lighter effect because I think because my concealer, but um, yeah, so far so good, but still not 100% sure. But I definitely like the coverage that I got. I try to contour. Again, it's not coming out on camera like... I'm shooting on my phone guys so it's not coming out but your girl is trying i mean and the eyeshadow guys i'm getting so much better with my eyeshadow game i have like three different color and i use an eyeshadow palette from lancome that i had a wow and then this lip i have um i have a lip liner that i talked about last week which was the one from sephora and this the name was the rum the rum raising and then i went ahead and added the the nar lipstick on here it's a brown lipstick that i got for my birthday at sephora 
it stays to color. I mean, it's pretty. I'm trying to, like, I'm a red lipstick girl, but that's all I do. So I'm trying to, you know, get out the red zone and learn some colors. And of course, like I said, I absolutely love, if y'all don't get anything, get this. This Maybelline lip gloss, it is so, so good. It goes like with everything. And of course I put that on top of it. So we'll see. I mean, I feel cute. I feel good. And I'm about to step out. Let me show y'all my outfit. I don't know. It's really, really cute. I'm giving y'all like summer vibes. Ooh, 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 not the bra. <laughs> see, let me see if y'all can see my little shorts. See? <laughs> little cute summer vibe. I'm going to this bar. Um, so we'll see. I'll come back on camera. All right, guys, so I'm back. I just got in. It's about like 2.30 maybe 2.40 in the morning, a.m. and I just just got back in and I just wanted to give you guys an update how I did with uh, the Makeup Forever reboot. Um, honest opinion, so I will pass on this foundation. I do, although I feel like it's a light foundation, but I felt my skin um, very oily. I had to, like right after I finished putting on the foundation before I got out the car to go to my destination, I felt like I had to pat my face down because my face, um, you know, was very oily because this is a hydrating um, makeup. I will say it doesn't feel heavy. This is perfect for the girls that have dry, dry skin this is going to be your foundation for a girl like me that has oily acne prone skin it was just giving me way too much oil but at the same time like um i use you know i express this enough that i use tretinoin at night so i figured that i will want a foundation that gives me hydration but um uh, no I don't. I don't want a foundation that gives me hydration. I'm perfectly fine with the maybe, um, I'm sorry, maybe, Maybelline um, Fit Me, the um, matte poreless that I used the first week. I actually feel like this might be a better fit for me at night if I want full coverage. And then daytime, obviously, I will continue using the BB Cream, Maybelline Dream, BB, King, BB Cream, the Pure. But um, for the Makeup Reboot, Makeup Reboot Color R530, I'm gonna have to pass on this. I probably will retry it again in the winter time, but my my skin was just way too oily. Um, no, it's just way too oily. It's way too much hydration on top of my oily skin. But I will say, it, once again, it does not leave a heavy, um, you know, a heavy foundation feel. It is more light, but it's just way too much for me. So, um, yeah. I'm going to go to sleep now because I'm exhausted. I got to take a shower and, and wipe off all this makeup. Please don't ever, 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 ever go to sleep with makeup on. That's a no-no, especially for my acne prone skin girls. You will wake, wake up with several pimples. So I don't care how tired I am right now. I'm extremely tired. I didn't even have a, a lot to drink. I think I had just one drink, but I don't really drink that much, so those one drinks now since this whole pandemic thing i haven't been drinking like that so those one drinks be getting to your girl so i am getting ready to wipe my makeup off and what i use for my makeup i'll show you guys it's um actually you know what i'll do it on camera hopefully so i use coconut oil and this coconut oil is an organic virgin coconut oil and i get this from trader joe's this coconut oil for me works to remove my makeup so i'm just going to pour it because it's hot out in the summertime my coconut oil does melt if it was winter then it'll be um you know the white the white flakes so I'm just gonna take that and then i just kind of rub my hands with the coconut oil then I just kind of go all over my face, especially my mascara, because that seems to be the hardest part to come off. But what the coconut oil does, it melts it down perfectly and it and then instantly come off of my face. I probably should have took my earrings off. <laughs> but I just want to show you guys. Yeah, coconut oil is the real deal. But, um, you know, cleansing oil, coconut oil, 
all kind of works i can't wait till we get our cleansing oil to help you take off your makeup but yeah this is what i do for the time being oh i need to smash this wig off <laughs> the time being and just kind of like massage around my face oh stuff is all over my poor hair and my poor wig and i just kind of rub it and want to make sure when you get to the eyes you rub it gentle don't go fast i just went fast a minute ago and i just realized this is my eyes area so you want to just go really 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 slow around the eyes area oh y'all can see my cap <laughs> all right guys so i'm just gonna keep doing this for a couple of minutes until i feel like my makeup is all off and then i'm gonna end the video i'm gonna do this off camera you guys kind of get the concept um to remove makeup and thank you guys for watching remember to stay true to yourself be good to yourself you are your skin beauty peace bye good night oh my god excuse the cap <laughs>